Hello everyone, this is Nikki and welcome back to another episode of Hollywood Buzz. Sumit is still missing so I'll be the only one updating you with the latest news in Hollywood. Damn Beyonce, back at it again with the surprises. So Beyonce has just unveiled her new clothing line Ivy Park which will be available starting April 14th and we must say that her new clothing line which is fitness based is absolutely fierce. Beyonce just launched a brand new clothing line and we are seriously freaking out. It is amazing. Queen Bey is on to her latest venture and this time it is a clothing line collection called Ivy Park. The entire collection features fabulous workout gear from sports bras to leggings. It is everything we've ever hoped for. We are so obsessed with the latest collection, are you? Beyonce released a campaign video for her new clothing line and it immediately gave us the chills. It's a montage of Beyonce in a bunch of different fitness outfits and she's working out the entire time, both inside on a treadmill and at Parkwood Park in Houston, Texas, her old playing grounds. She looks so gorgeous in this video. If there's anything that can give you the most fitspo, it is 100% the video of Beyonce getting down and dirty in workout gear. The entire video was so moving and emotional and while she flaunts her new clothing line, she says, I would wake up in the morning and my dad would come knock on my door and tell me it's time to go running. I remember wanting to stop, but I would push myself to keep going. While being a wonderful mother, wife, a successful singer and a songwriter, Beyonce has now stepped into an unknown territory of clothing lines and we cannot wait. Ariana Grande, who is also very well known for her ponytail, has now decided to finally part ways with that signature look. She has now decided to let her hair down for her new music video in Dangerous Woman. Ariana Grande ditched her adorable half off ponytail hairstyle in the music video for her newest single, Dangerous Woman, for something much sexier. Looking like she stepped out of a Victoria's Secret ad, the video features Ariana sitting around in her lingerie with the Victoria's Secret bombshell waves hairstyle to match. Even though Ari is known for her ponytail hairstyle, she has been playing with different looks lately. She tried out a blonde wig for her Focus cover art back in the fall and recently she's been bringing the 90s Space Buns hairstyle. For her latest single, Dangerous Woman, Ariana surprised us all by completely ditching the updos and wearing her hair down. Showing off her long dark locks with caramel balayage, hairstylist Delina Ribello kept Ari's hair parted down in middle and styled in loose waves with major shine. Ariana has spoken many times about the limited styling options she had to choose from after the damage that was done to her hair from dyeing it so often during her Nickelodeon days as red-headed Cat Valentine on Victorious. But it looks like her hair is completely healthy again since she's been switching up her styles and her hair has never looked shinier. Ever since the Nickelodeon days, we've only seen Ariana in her ponytail. However, we're very excited to see her new music video, Dangerous Woman, where we get to see her in a completely new avatar. Beyonce is back again with another surprise, again. So she's finally going to be dropping her new album, Formation, on April 1st, where she's going to feature Kanye West, Mariah Carey, and Adele, and much more. This could either be the best thing to ever happen or the worst April Fool's joke we've ever encountered. A leaked album release is currently making its rounds online and it claims Beyonce will be releasing her highly anticipated new album titled Formation to title users on April 1st. Plus, the 14-track album will allegedly feature collaborations with Adele, Kanye West, Mariah Carey, and more. According to this leaked release, Beyonce's new album will be released on Tidal on April 1st, one week before a wide release on April 8th. It seems plausible considering Beyonce is one of the founding members of the music streaming service, but the April Fool's Day release date leaves us feeling a little wary. If the release turns out to be accurate, Beyonce's new album will feature collaborations with Adele, as well as Jay-Z, Kanye West, Nicki Minaj, Mariah Carey, and Frank Ocean. She might even release music videos for each of the new songs like she did with the release of her most recent album in December 2013. 
with all these fierce artists along with Beyonce, I'm sure it's going to be a treat for the summer and it's definitely going to win the best album of the year. Kanye West is mad again at the media. However, this time it does seem justified. There have been rumors that Northwest is not the daughter of Kanye West and these rumors have him driving crazy. We don't blame Kanye West for freaking out over a new allegation that Northwest isn't his child. If the report is true and Kim Kardashian has been keeping the secret from her husband of two years, he has every right to be angry. Kim and Kanye finally moved into their dream home after years of living with her mother. But instead of being able to fully enjoy this special time, they've been hit with a seriously upsetting allegation. A source tells that Kanye is still trying to figure out what to do about the cruel claim. He's furious about this rumor and he wants to do something about it. But at the same time, he doesn't want to get sucked into the negativity. He's in a tough spot. It's no wonder Kanye is upset about this rumor. He's crazy about his little girl, so it must be so hard hearing that he might not be her dad. There has been a lot of buzz that North is not Kanye's biological child, and the rumors have been intensifying lately, an insider told to a magazine. With all the love and gifts that Kanye gives to his daughter Northwest, we're sure that anyone in his position would be very angry and we hope them all the very best that they do sort out this entire situation. The comedian Cat Williams has landed himself in jail one more time and this time for punching a teenager in his face during a nasty brawl that took place on March 22nd and it was all caught on tape. Cat Williams' brushes with the law keep on coming as the 42-year-old comedian has been taken into custody by Gainesville, Georgia police for his epic fight against a 17-year-old following a soccer match. The video where Cat got totally owned by the teen went completely viral and after an investigation, police are now charging both the star and the teenager. Keep reading to see how much trouble Cat is in. An arrest warrant was issued for Cat on March 28th, but he failed to turn himself in, so the police showed up at Cat's front door around 2.30 p.m. March 30th and took the comedian into custody. Cat's going to be spending the night behind bars as he's being held without bail until he can go before a judge. Cat looked super sad in his mugshot, obviously feeling really down about his latest legal problems. In some of his prior mugshots, oh there are lots of them, he's been pictured actually smiling, but this time that clearly was not the case. Cat is being charged with disorderly conduct and a probation violating after cops got a good hard look at a video where he got into a brawl with 17 year old Luke Wash who despite his age is reportedly in 7th grade. Luke followed Cat around after a friendly soccer game and kept getting in Cat's face over and over again until the funny man completely lost it and took a swing at him. The bad news for Cat, the kid turned out to have mad fighting skills and knew how to wrestle, pinning him helplessly down on the ground. Being a celebrity does have its up and downs. Cat Williams was followed by his fan non-stop and finally he not only got hit, however he also landed in jail. Dwayne Johnson has us all feeling nostalgic with his new post on Instagram. It is a remake of the picture from 90s series Baywatch and the iconic photo has us all stunned. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is single-handedly the most excited person about the upcoming Baywatch remake, which he has made abundantly clear with constant Instagram updates. However, his latest photo is by far the coolest one he's posted as it reveals the whole cast in costume, making the 90s feel come rolling back like the tide. The Rock shared his amazing photo on Instagram, revealing the full cast and their uniform swimmies to the world in their first official group photo. Are we badass? Yes. Do we save lives? All day, the star captioned the photo, which shows him taking a walk through the sand surrounded by his gorgeous co-stars, including Alexandra Daddario, and Zac Efron. The Rock, who is better known as Dwayne these days, has been living and breathing the Baywatch movie as he and the cast bring it to life. One scroll through his Instagram feed reveals tons of behind the scenes photos as well as introductions and announcements of new cast members as they join the ride, 
or should we say the tide? Unfortunately, as exciting as this photo is, it is likely one of the very few final photos we'll finally see. From the set until the movie premieres. The worst part? Baywatch won't be hitting theaters until May 2017. With all the great looking stars starring in this movie Baywatch, we cannot wait until May 2017 to finally go and watch this movie. And that marks the ending of this episode for Hollywood Buzz. I'm Nikki, and make sure for more updates, you go and follow us on all of our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also we post a lot of videos on YouTube, so make sure you check that out, and we'll see you next time on Hollywood Buzz.